Hey everybody, it's 904 Funny, and um, here for more Pokemon Ranger. Uh, in the last episode, we um, did a qu another quest, which was pretty quick. Now we are going to go down here to get our new partner Pokemon, Krikata. Would you like to take Krikata as your partner Pokemon? Yes. Weird sound effect, but okay. Um, gotta go up. Um, I guess we're supposed to go back to the ranger base. Call of the day, yes. Hmm. What might it be? Tiny thing? Uh, I've never seen it like this. It's like a stone. No, anything but that. Take it with me back to the Union. Our staff will handle it. Come now, to the Union. Yes, sir. Alright, people. The next day. I hate when you have to like wait j a few seconds just so you can press the A button and skip this. God. Okay, we are looking at Omnia Times, Volume Six. Should be good. Union's greatest Star Raptor handler. Maybe that's good. Um, Top Ranger issue exclusive look at the fine styler. And there's Wendy. Supposed to be an important character, I guess. 10,000 captures. And Steven. That's about it. Aren't Top Rangers the coolest? We need to, you to go to Puel Town. Ugh. I hate going back to Puel Town. I'm gonna cut right about now. Okay, I just received voicemail right in the middle of coming up to there. Tastings, come quick to Peel Town. Look, you already told me that. Nice. Oh, I hate these bee drills. Leave me alone. Is that supposed to be our Peel Town welcome? Like, really, how does that welcome people to Puel Town? It just annoys you! God. They, like, constantly follow you until you walk over to the next screen. Oh, there he is. Nine four funny. Good morning. Situation: Norwood Bridge is stuck open, meaning no traffic can cross. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for the bridge to open. Well, at least I get to automatically go through there, so I don't have to actually walk through there. And now Dr. Wiley, I guess, is looking at the um. Bridge.
trying to figure out how to do it. Oh, I saw him at the harbor. Oh, now we gotta go back to the harbor. Damn it. I can't believe I still have this Weedle anti-rogue following me. I mean, seriously, have you ever kept a Weedle that long? Like, I still have this Weedle, and I can't get rid of it. I mean, I could just release it any time I want, but I'm not going to. Unless I actually need it, or if I use it for a Pokey Assist. Well, it's a Bug Pokey Assist, and Krikatot already has that. Uh, last time we were here, we had to um, fight Team Dim Sun with their Toxic Croak. Uh, over here? Okay, maybe, okay, maybe it's like, you have to go in here. Then you go in here. This part of the harbor. There's a boat here. Can't seem to go on it. Uh, maybe it was that other area, yeah. Oh yeah, um, I think one of the episodes, I can't remember what it was, but like, um, I was talking about like, I, when I got Fossil Fighter, and I think I was mentioning my team. Well, uh, yeah, like by now I'm, I'm much farther, I'm like, uh, in a chapter 7, and I can't quite become a level 7 fighter yet, but now my team is, uh, Spinax, Carnio, Androarch, um, Neo, and Elasmo. Yeah, so, so Lexo, he's Corneo, and Androarch is pretty good with that Link ability where he, get, he gets to attack without using FP. Except there's one battle where, like, if you lose one of your Vivisaurs and you lose the whole battle, it's, like, really annoying. I can't get past it. And it's really, um, really annoying where there's this two-year-old who has, like, this Corona. It's, like, actually kind of ridiculous. And that makes you think you're going to beat him, but you don't. Hey, you're the, um, idiot who tried to swim after the boat, weren't you? Can't swim after a boat? Uh, that was already a title of one of my videos. Um, take care of things, yes. Wait, are we... Huh. What are we doing? Is this what I think we're doing? Oh my god, yes it is. We actually get to go underwater. I didn't think it'd be this soon. Now you may guess that you can only use water Pokemon under here, so I don't that's why I don't have um the Weedle, the Tyrogue, not even my partner Pokemon, because it's yeah, so I'm just by myself here. I don't have any partner Pokemon, so there's these Finians swimming around, and, I don't know, it's sort of like Bottoms Up Bay, I guess, except this one has cliffs. I mean, the music sounds a little bit more interesting. Is it at maximum? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, there's a Chinchow. Let's capture him. So, I guess the rest of the video, you're just going to see me capturing Pokemon. And then, next episode, um, I'll actually speed it up. Because I, I just want to, like, 
do this just to fill in the rest of the time I have this video. So yeah, I won't be really talking a lot. I guess just enjoy me capturing these Pokemon. There's nothing really interesting about this video, but there will next, I think. We have to chase after a Sharpedo. Wait, is the top screen cut off a little bit? Well, yeah. I mean, it's just a tiny bit of the top screen. It's not much. So I guess I gotta think of something to talk about. I already told you about the fossil fighters. Um, there's a Sharpedo! I see something shiny on the ground. I took it, and now I'm getting voicemail. Okay, so maybe there is something interesting. Um, have you found the key yet? Well, what's that? Sharpedo grabbed it. Well, you better get in there. Okay, so now they're, um, officially calling it a mission. Recover the key from the Sharpedo. Well, the good thing about this mission is that you don't have to hear that annoying mission theme. Thank God. Uh, actually, I like this music a lot better. It's like, it's different from what I've been hearing. It's like, Sort of, um, there's a man type here. I mean, these are pretty easy captures. I think later you find a star you. Oh, you can't actually go down the cliffs. Well, at least in this scene, it actually makes sense, because there's, like, fish and water-type Pokemon here. But, like, it's unlike, uh... Fossil fighters, where like you go into these fossil battles and you see a fire type vivisaur underwater, and that doesn't make any sense. I tried to address that in part 27 of Taco Dude's Let's Play, um, because I was in uh, part 27 and 28, and I was like, why are they breathing underwater? It doesn't make sense. And yeah, I had a good point there. And also, like, they have to be, like, heavy enough to stay in the, uh, bottom of the water. I mean, like, wouldn't they float a little bit? So there's a lot of things that make sense. Also, when Coatless, like, uses Wing Cutter on water, it doesn't make sense. Like, it wouldn't really move as fast, because all Coatless is is just wings. Oh, yeah, um, after I, I capture this Quillfish, I'm thinking they're going to end it off. I didn't get a chance to do anything, but I captured it. Soak. It doesn't even mention that. It's a water type. I accidentally hit the record button instead of A. But anyway, I will see you next episode where I will be speeding up this water section. So I'll see you next time.